Hi everyone, and welcome to another video with Game Dev Journey. As we enjoy some content from another Made with Godo game, I'll tell you about today's video. It's all about using texture buttons in both Unity and Godo. You may remember from one of my previous videos that I experimented with toggling the visibility of a sprite by clicking a button. Well, two of my subscribers commented that this was easily achieved with a texture button, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. The texture button has the same functionality as a button, except it uses sprites and has states in the inspector for normal, hover, pressed and disabled. Before we get started, if you enjoy my content and want to see more from me, please like and subscribe. So to add a texture button in Godot, we are going to add a new node, texture button, and we're going to find an image for it. You can see I have some preloaded. And we're going to add the image to the texture button's normal state. Now for the pressed state, we're going to click on new image and we're actually going to add an empty image make sure you put toggle mode on and now when we click the texture button it disappears and click it again and it reappears Just like that, we've accomplished the same thing we did with a button and a script. Let's add another one. Here's a background for a user interface. We'll add that as a texture rect. Now we'll just create a little mock user interface here. This is just a sprite that would represent a menu for now. We'll drop it in over here. Let's add a little label to that ribbon. Perhaps this is a select screen. Now let's imagine we want a textured button on this little menu. We'll add another texture button. And we have four states for the button. Let's add the blue to the normal, um, green for hover, red for pressed, and gray for disabled. Let's just resize this button. Remember to click on the expand to change the button. And there we go. Textured button cycling through the different states. Our button's working very nicely, hover, hover and press, and it cycles through. Now let's jump to Unity and see how we achieve the same thing. So here we are in Unity, I've already set the project up so you don't have to watch me going through all that again. And we have our little window here, we're going to add a user interface element a button. Here the button is, we zoom out, and we don't need the text on the button, but let's just put it in the position. Now let's just expand and get rid of the text. Alright, so we're going to put it on from color tint to sprite swap in a moment. Let's just resize this button so that it looks like it is no longer squashed. That's looking good. Now to change color tint to sw sprite swap. And now we have our states again. Normal, pressed, hover and disabled. Let's drag our images in. 
and test it out. So we can hover and it turns green, click and it goes red and its normal state is blue. I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported me so far. I've really just gotten started and I appreciate everyone who just watches, likes and especially subscribes to my channel. In my next video I'm planning on demonstrating how to switch a sprite's texture when you click on the sprite in Unity. And after that, maybe showing how to do a countdown timer in Goddo. If you have anything you'd like to see me demonstrate, please mention it in the comments below. I read every comment and I try to reply to each one. Thanks for watching and I really hope to see you again soon.